Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to insert a QTab widget in your PyQD application. Before we get started, uh, I just want to show you the application we'll be building in this exercise. So here's the, the PyQD application. And within this application, we have two different uh, tabs. So a tab widget is a container of tab bars. So these two uh, bars are what we call tab bars. And each bar contains their own page area that you can insert different types of widgets. So for tab 1.1, .1, uh, within this uh, page, you have a label, an input field, and a push button. And in tab 2, you have, uh, in tab 1.2, you have a push button only. And if you click the push button, and that's going to print a message. But in tab two, you only have uh, one, you only have just one widget, which is a push button that basically takes the entire area. Now we know what we're going to build. Now let's get started. So first thing I'm going to import the library. From the Qt widgets module, I'm going to input the Q application class, Q widget, Q push button, a label, uh, Q line edit, and the Q tab widget. So for the layout, I'm going to use the Q grid layout, Q feedbox layout, and I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, I can, I just need those two uh, layout classes. And here I'm going to construct my app demo class. I'll pass the Q widget uh, class as the parent class. I'll set my uh, window size. Let's do 800 by 600. Now I'm going to construct my um, Q application instance. And I'll create my, so here I'm going to create my app demo instance. And I'll name the instance uh, demo. So if I just do a demo.show, and here have a typo. Now this is what we have so far, just a, just a uh, blank window. Here I'm going to create my main layout. And it's going to be a gray layout. And for my vertical layout, so I'm going to name this uh, fee layout one. And I'll, I'll pass the Q fee box layout class. All right now let's create our first tab. So this is going to be tab 1.1. So one underscore one. So here I'm going to actually create a Q widget uh, object. I'll name this object self tab one underscore one. And within the and within tab one point one, and I'm going to uh, provide the layout. So it's going to be a, a QV box layout. And here is where I'm going to insert the, uh, the, the widgets. So on the top, we're going to have a, a label. And I'm going to pass a, a HTML markup. And I'll set the size to eight. And let's go, and I'll set that to bold as, as well. And here for the, uh, the text, I'll say, Enter or should type something. After I insert my label, I want to insert a Q line edit widget. And after that, I want to insert a button. So it's going to be a push button. 
and I'll just say print. Now we're going to add those two widgets, so uh, the line edit widget and the push button widget to tab 1.1. And lastly, we need to set the layout. And here, actually, let me go ahead and create my, my uh, tab widget. So just call the tab widget uh, tabs, actually tabs one. And I'll pass the QTab widget class. And to add the tab bar, uh, we'll do add tab. And we'll pass the tab bar object. And this is going to be 1.1. And this is going to be the, uh, the caption. So tab 1.1. Now let me add the, the widget to the main layout. Now if I just run the, the script and a widget. Oh. Uh, so this should be layout. Oops, layout dot average so I forgot uh, include the layout uh, method let me try again oops uh, all right now here's what we have so far here's our first tab bar and this tab bar will have the label and the input field and the push button right now let me close this window and here I'm going to create my function that I'm going to connect to my uh, print push button, which is this, uh, this push button right here. And I'll, uh, I'll name this function type something. And it's going to print what we have in the uh, line edit uh, widget, which is our input field. All right now let's create tab 1.2 for tab bar 1.2 uh, this one's going to be much simpler so i'm going to insert push button and i'll give this button a text a button and when user click this button i just want to print something uh, something you know, simple Oops, print, uh, let's do hello world. And we're going to add this button to our uh, tab 1.2. So let me create the tab. And it's going to be a widget. Oops, uh, layout. And we're going to add the push button to our layout. Now we can set the layout. 1.2 set layout. Now we're going to add uh, one point tab bar 1.2 to, uh, to our first tab. So tabs one, add tab. And it's going to be 1.2, and I'll name the, the bar uh, 1.2. Tap, tap 1.2. Now, that's everything that we need to add to the first tab. Now, we need to create our second tab. So, it's going to be tab 2. And let's see. And tab 1 uh, parent. So, let's, call, let's name this tab 1 parent. 
and it's going to be tab 2 period. Now for tab 2, so we're only going to have a, a push button that's going to take the entire uh, page area. So name this B button. And when user click the, uh, this B button, I want to print something else. Let's do about a uh, print B button uh, click. And that's it. Now to add the button to the tab. So we need to create a, the tab widget first. Now this time I'm just going to directly insert the, the button uh, to my tab to uh, widget. I'll name this uh, tab two. And, and lastly, I'll add the, the second bar to my main layout. Should be tabs, uh, not tab, tabs two. All right, so here's where you can kind of organize the layout. So let's say I want to uh, place my tabs, which is uh, left and right. So it's going to be within the same row, but just different column. If I print, uh, if I uh, launch the application, so here's our B button. So if I click on the B button, the message will get gets print. Now for uh, tab 1.1, so if I print uh, Python, Python is cool. And oh, so I forgot to connect the function. If I uh, type hello world and click on print, and that's going to print the message. And for tab 1.2, we have an A button. And if I print A button, uh, that's going to print the message hello world. Now let's say you don't want to uh, place the the tabs uh, side by side. You want to place the tab uh, from top to bottom. So what you want to do is here you can go to the the main layout and just uh, switch the so basically it switch the, the row and the column uh, value. So the first one is row and the second one is the column value. Now if I launch the application, oops, and this time we'll have the tabs one on the top and tabs two on the bottom. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.